Hi everybody, Audra here, independent creator with Magnolia Design Company. And um, I'm coming to this video for the second time tonight. Not this particular item, but uh, this is my second recording tonight. I started earlier with my little coffee cups that I was so excited about when I saw how big they were and my camera kept turning off on me. <laughs> So I had this little project in five parts, and I thought instead of torturing everybody and, and um, uploading five videos for one little project, I just deleted it, and I'm starting over. So this was the finished project. I, well, I didn't put the twine on. It got a little frustrating, but the two-tone, I love the two-tone pasting. It turned out so nice, and the colors are great. Um, I added the twine to one of them, but I just kind of tied it on because, again, I was getting so flustered <laughs> with my camera stopping on me. I think I figured it out, so hopefully it won't stop on this particular video. So there's this, and, and then here was the fourth one. So these would be so cute to hang in the kitchen, or if you have like a specific coffee area, it could decorate the wall around the coffee pot. Um, so yeah, that's 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 that. I'm I'm probably gonna do it again because I'd like to um, fix them up, you know, better. But I'm gonna save that for another time. For tonight, I decided to do these. Now I picked this up a while back, and it came with a twine that went through the holes. Uh, to hang it up with and I took it out because I don't want to get I was originally planning to chop the whole thing the first time I used it But this is my first time using it. I'm going to do something different than what I originally planned And I also have uh, but I also have other stuff I can put in here besides what it came with so that's what I'll use And so first I'm going to put the anchor on here and then I'm going to Add the words so um, we'll look at that. I haven't written on the back yet, so I need to make sure I write on the back. I'm going to write a large anchor. Of course, there's no confusing that with this little one, right? So, anyway, that's okay. <laughs> I'll leave it as it is. So I'm going to take that and put it on here. the opportunities as possible. I'm going to fuzz this over here on my towel. It is a brand new transfer. I haven't used it yet. So I want to make sure I get it good and fuzzy so it doesn't stick too hard to this. I guess that's aluminum. I'm not sure what that is. to put this right about, or maybe I'll just center it. I'm working out all of the air bubbles because I want to make sure we don't have any air bubbles. I'm going to do the anchor in this foliage green. I may need to add a little more water to it, I don't know. I am just chalking. I don't think I put enough. And I'm going to use my big squeegee. in order to go faster. 
so the chalk doesn't have a chance to dry before I get through the whole picture. to do this and I still don't have it on my fingers I'm impressed okay I think I heard some air bubbles when I was taking away some of the excess so I'm definitely going to be mindful of this while I'm pulling it up Camera's still going. I see a little bit of screen right there. So I'm going to dab it a little bit right there. Now I'm going to pull the transfer up and then peel to reveal, right? It's a little stuck. Okay. Here we go. I love how this green is showing up on the silver. A um, little bit there dried. Don't know. Hold on. Nope, that didn't work either. I need water. I'll be right back. I'm just going to dab a little water on there. That didn't work either, but that's okay. It still kind of looks rustic. That's what I want. That's what I'm going for because that's what it is, right? I think I needed to fuzz it just a little more because it is really sticking. Oh, there we go. Look at that. I really like how it turned out. There we go. Now you can see the whole thing. That is really pretty. I'm going to wash this. I'll be right back. did was um, I washed it in lukewarm water and I'll show you we have these these are our transfer cleaners our board erasers and um, what this wash the transfer in lukewarm water and use this to wipe it down wipe it down and it gets majority of the uh, paste off. Some of the darker colors, like the one I just used, do tend to stain. So um, my transfer is a little stained and that's okay. It's still usable. It's just got a little color to it, a little different color to it than what I originally came with. So I'm going to dry this now. I'm 
see it. Trying to make sure there's no tackiness. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Putting the transfer on top of this and hoping it won't peel it up. I'm not sure with this um, surface what exactly will happen. Um, I may cut it up. Just cut the words apart. So that I can put this specific, just put the words down and not the whole transfer. So I'm thinking this is the transfer, and I was thinking about just setting it on top like that and then doing the words. However, I don't know that I want to put all of this on top of that. Hmm. I do need scissors. I really like that. I really like that. I see my camera is still rolling, so no technical difficulties at this point. So that's a good sign. I may have fixed the problem, figured it out and fixed it. I'm not the most techni technologically inclined person. Um, I had a person for that. Unfortunately, I lost my person Monday night. It's very sad. A dear friend. I lost a dear friend Monday night. So let's see. He was my number one cheerleader. <laughs> I was thinking about doing white paste all right I can't believe I'm doing this this is the first time I've cut a transfer outside of the white line okay it's hard for me to do but I'm gonna do this it's gonna hurt a little bit but I'm gonna do it ouchie 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 <laughs> okay I did it. Yay. So now I'm going to I guess I just need to do it now that I've started, right? I'll cut here. Oh my gosh. Now I have to resist the urge to buy a new one. I'm going to cut this like this. Mm -hmm. I need to make sure I write on these. Jesus is the Hebrews, blank that. Here we go. Anchor. Internally, I am just 
Oh, internally I am freaking out, but it's going to be okay. Not because of this, but because of this. I, um, you know, everything in its place, a place for everything. Of mine. And that belonged on the one sheet, right? So. So now, the whole purpose of doing this was to get rid of the excess, right? So let's get rid of the excess. we think the anchors going this way the words are going this way I kind of want to have it like that and then I will probably put this right here okay let's give it a shot so I need to make sure I fuzz this really, really good. I also need to make sure this is really, really dry. I don't need these scraps anymore. I'm throwing them in the trash. <laughs> throwing them in the trash. No tackiness. I'll start with the word Jesus. Move it on the back. So I'm not really going to push down on that part right there. I'm just focusing on the screened area, making sure there are no bubbles. It looks nice and straight. So I'm going to go ahead and chalk it really quick. This one may be a little too thick as well. I'm still dealing with the trauma of cutting my <laughs> cutting my transfer. Hmm. But I'm sure I will get over it. And I'm sure the next time I do it it'll be a little bit easier. Okay. I'm 
I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. Oh, good, it didn't take any of it up. So there's that so far. Let me get some water for these. No, I'll just rinse it. It won't take long, it's small. to do put this the right here so I'm fuzzing it again so it won't be too difficult to get up off the right about So I placed it on there and then just took up the excess, put it back in the jar so I can use that for other projects. Can you see it? So far so good. I rinsed that really quick. Now, this one, I want to put this here. I'm going to risk putting this over the chalking that's already there. I'm going to focus again on the screened area and not the, the rest of it. Then I went off the transfer a little bit, but that's okay, it'll wash off. I am trying to be careful whoopsie, about going off the transfer in the green area because I don't want to have to wash off the green. Trying to make a mistake, you know, trying to clean up a mistake. So, all the screen is covered. Oh, no, it's not. It's a little bit right there. Okay, so 
I want to pull up the excess. Lift this off. So far, so good. I do want to touch it up a little bit here. And a little bit up here. See, that's the nice thing about doing it nice and slow. You can watch for areas that you might need to touch up for whatever reason. I think what's happening is I've had this open and it's drying before I can finish what I'm doing here. There we go. I made a little blobby mess in a couple places, but it's not on the green, so that's okay. I will be right back. I'll worry about those after I dry everything. Okay. I love that anchor. I'm going to try that on. Um, I bet that would be gorgeous on a black surface. that right up there, so I'm going to put this right here. Just a little bit on the green. Hmm, I'm a little nervous. There we go. Can't go too fast. There we go. Okay. So I globbed it a little bit right there. I'll fix that. Probably going to move the word soul up a little bit. I didn't realize where exactly that was sitting. I have a brush. Weird. I don't know where it went. 
So. I put the word soul. It's going to be on the green quite a bit. So I'm just going to focus on the screened area and I'm actually going to hold the end up. Not too much the chalk here, and I'm running out of this one. So, I probably should have added some water to it before I finish this up, but oopsie, I can see an area. I think it looks good. Okay. So fixing that up. One thing I want to do, I don't know if this paintbrush is going to work for that. Nope, I don't trust it. <laughs> 